has moved to the Pleasance Theatre following its sellout run at the Volks Festival. Set in a basement in northern Iraq during the height of ISIS's control over parts of the country, the play follows two young Brits, one who was radicalised, the other who joined the army, both of them equally disenfranchised with life in the UK. Hi, Greenhoff plays Dean and is with us now. Good to see you. Hello. Tell us more about Dean. Uh, so, Dean is a young man from Leeds who um, left school, didn't go to university, um, and then subsequently joined the army um, through kind of lack of an alternative, uh, and that's the one that I play. Yeah. Um, I'm from Sheffield, though, so there's some serious acting chops involved to get <laughs> me all the way across. He, he, he ends up in a situation where he's been held hostage. Uh, yeah. by a young man also from the UK who has been radicalised and decided to join the, the extremist group. Right. Uh, and the play then kind of follows out, actually, that they've probably got more in common than, than separates them. Is that right? Well, this is, this is exactly kind of what the play is about, and it's kind of empathy as well. Um, it's exploring these two lads and realising that the superficial differences actually kind of are just that, superficial, and that on the, at the core of it humans have much more in common than we'd perhaps like to kind of admit. Obviously it's exploring kind of the ideas of ideologies as well and how people can be kind of seduced by ideologies and what this country is doing and what our society is doing to kind of uh, give people a cause. In a society where people are happy mm. and where people are contented and feel that they have something to live for, they're not going to go and kind of join a death cult. I yeah. suppose that's what is at the core of the play. That is, um, that is really the solution to the situation, is it, when we talk about radicalisation? And there was an awful lot of research that went into this. This is yeah, not just the, the, the skill of a writer. There's, there's real academic backing to it. Yeah, I mean, we've had some amazing support from uh, the academic community, which has been kind of mind-blowing. I spoke at an academic conference about the writing process with regards to it as well um, a couple of years ago, because I initially wrote it in 2015. In 2015, that was when it was kind of fresh, people, the radicalisation, uh, and in the reporting of it by lots of media, it seemed that these people were being presented like they just popped out of the ground, like fully-fledged jihadis. They weren't young men who'd grown up in this country and been kind of taken from a normal upbringing, a normal circumstance, into a position where they felt it was a good idea to go and do horrendous things overseas. So while the play in absolutely no way justifies kind of a behaviour of people who committed monstrous acts ask why in a society that we all share does some do some people think that that's going to be a good decision yeah, uh, yeah. society kind of has a responsibility to kind of ask those questions I and mean, they weren't being asked in 2015 and i still kind of don't think they're being asked in an efficient way now either they're, they're not being shouted about certainly are no they not? no in, in terms of the relationship between the two characters and like you say there is empathy perhaps for both of them here there's also comedy and they talk about some of the similarities in life in the uk and like the rising price of a meal deal and yeah does that humanize both of them to some extent and, and make you realise that these at the end of the day are just human beings who caught themselves up in a terrible situation. I think comedy is the best tool for finding empathy. Yeah. Um, I, I just think that if you're laughing with someone then you are inherently going to find something, some kind of common ground there. You can't laugh at someone that you kind of despise. Um, so that's kind of where the comedy comes in as a means by which to kind of have the discussions about what's led these people there. And that it is, it is ridiculous, the, like the reality of these people, whether it's wanting to be kind of big jihadi soldiers, but they were young lads who ate at McDonald's and went and played football on the green. And that's and that disconnect, the dichotomy between the perception of these people in the kind of contemporary press and where they came from, that's kind of where, where, where the comedy is, is drawn from. Yeah. Is in no way making light of the atrocities that have been committed overseas. It's a tool to kind of get into the conversation that needs to be had. Yeah, and start. I write comedy, so it yeah. seemed like the appropriate thing to do. Yeah, to start the dialogue. We are almost at the time, but I know you're going into a lovely run over at the Pleasant Day. Yeah, so where can we see you? Uh, so we open on the 24th, uh, which is next Tuesday. Uh, we've got a couple of previews, and then we've got our press night, and we're running until the 13th of May, so there's plenty of opportunity to be able to come and see us in the new Pleasance Downstairs space, which yeah. we're actually launching, which is phenomenal. The like debut very play in that Debut space. play in that space is pretty, pretty fancy. Matthew, brilliant to see you. Thank you Cheers, for coming thanks in. Matthew Greenhoff there, who was uh, written and uh, stars in uh, uh, Bismillah, which opens, as he says, next week. Right.